Hello and welcome to my channel. I started creating videos here in 2021 and my focus was on reviewing online software and affiliate marketing programs. I was learning a new skill while promoting digital products and now in 2024 I'm moving in a new direction. One that links my skills and knowledge of my life and the last few years. My name's Lorraine and I'm going to be your guide unlocking your full potential and achieving the success you've always dreamed of. I'm going to be uncovering insights in my healing journey, person development tips, motivational stories. My newly launched podcast is Mindset Money Success, where I chat with other women who have overcome challenges or launched their own business as entrepreneurs. In my own life, I have faced numerous challenges, none as huge as the trauma I experienced at the abrupt termination of my last relationship, which ended in August 2020. During the final months of 2020, I educated myself on narcissistic behaviours after being discarded by a former partner. He left me in Spain in the home we were meant to share. Before he left, I was subject to his abusive behaviour as his emotions were dysregulated. He told me he was in control. I had to do as he said, I c or he could throw me out onto the streets. Then, after I had responded to his letter and financial settlement, in which, in reality, did not help me, there were more angry outbursts. He even agreed to recording a meeting where we were supposed to discuss my proposal that I had emailed to him a few days before. It was during that face-to-face -face meeting that his behaviour was intimidating, threatening, angry and I was shut down, unable to speak or say anything. I could not hardly string a sentence together after his one-sided verbal onslaught. Two weeks after leaving me in Spain, he projected blame onto me and I was told in an email that I would be forcibly removed and I would leave the house with nothing as he made his decision to take legal action to evict me. I had previously seen anger outbursts from 2018 and before that I didn't understand that some of the things he did and some of the things he said were in fact a way to devalue it's like emotional and psychological abuse. I didn't understand any of it. There were many anger, rage, outbursts that I shut down conversations. I didn't record anything uh, until 2018 when I recorded a telephone call and then asked permission to record the meeting that we had in 2020. Otherwise, there is no real evidence of the anger, rage outbursts. There's only evidence of email communications and text message communications, um, which obviously um, could be considered evidence of things. So my content um, has focused on intimate relationships and what plays out in these relationships. So love bomb, the first phase. Devaluation is the second phase. And discard is the third phase. Hoover is the fourth phase when the narcissistic person is want to be nice again and they restart at the fake love bomb uh, and again. But the first and second phase can last for years. 
it's like a Jekyll and Hyde character, a push-pull in a relationship and what I call he loves me, he loves me not, as it's never all one side, it oscillates between two different things. Um, sometimes they're really nice, agreeable and then sometimes they are nasty, spiteful, vindictive. And this is what creates the confusion by the target, the scapegoat and the victim as they are being abused psychologically and emotionally and often they do not realise it. Money is weaponized. They often try to control victims using money, keep wives or partners dependent and trapped in a relationship and they may be gift givers and if they perceive that recipient is not serving their needs or is not showing enough gratitude, then they will punish them or lash out at them. And this might be verbal, not physical. There is still a danger that dysregulated person could become physically violent at some stage. If your experience of this form of abuse is with a parent, a sibling or even a work colleague. YouTube has lots of videos on narcissistic behaviours. There are doctors and professors and channels dedicated to the topic. I would start by searching for content there. Don't let narcissistic behaviours go unnoticed. Hit the like button if you've experienced or witnessed these traits. Share your story in the comments below. Together, we can raise awareness and support each other. My channel with Mindset Money Success Podcast will be looking at the abusive behaviours and narcissistic traits, but also a way out and a way forward and a healing journey and mindfulness, meditations um, and journaling as a way to heal. So I'm going to be covering a lot of different things with this channel and I hope that anyone who has experienced narcissistic behaviours, narcissistic abuse will join me here at Success with Lorraine. Thank you for listening.